Hello everyone, this is Surma Shai Sims here. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. Um, I hope you're all doing all right. Today we have the tour of this chic neighborhood here. I've always wanted to do this uh, for a while and I've got the opportunity to do it and I liked it a lot and I wanted to share it with you guys. So um, they're all tiny houses. Only these first two are bigger than the other two. And I've set up this car as if it's living right now. And uh, there are four different families living on each of them. And these two are smaller and lofted as well. And I've used different doors and windows on each of the houses. So we have more varieties on the exterior. And if you can see, I don't know if you can notice, I've used a bump out trick on this. It's actually a floating room. It doesn't have a specific purpose. It's just for um, the look of the outsides to make it more modern and edgy looking, you know, because it's a chic neighborhood. So yeah, um, let's start the tour of the first house. Um, I've given the first family here this red car because that suits their personalities. Um, they're professionals, but um, Jaden now is expecting, so she's at home. Um, as soon as you enter the room, um, you enter the living and dining area. And I've used that um, light, those lights from... Um, the sim chase event and they're so gorgeous in the corner there i've used the teal color to make it look more modern and here is the dining space here i've merged the old black table with the new um restaurant tables and uh it's worked well and you can see jade and lu chan here having a lunch and through this door here um we have the guest bedroom uh, actually is the first bedroom of the house but they use it as a guest bedroom and uh, good enough for any guests i wish we had plain curtains in the game so we could just put them uh, on the windows you know but it's okay we maybe it will come soon <laughs> through this archway here um we have uh over here on this side uh, the kitchen area, it is a galley style kitchen. Uh, I've merged a washer uh, on the cabinet there to make it look like a washer dry combo there. There's a stove, microwave, um, oven, sink, fridge, everything is here. Uh, it is small but functional. The cabinets come from the clam event. And then through this area is the stairway room. And then that door lead to the downstairs bathroom so the guests can use that bathroom. I've used the holiday high rise event items in the bathroom. And that's all in the first level here. And so yeah. And that big wheel there was used by a toddler and she just left it uh, off the grid there and I could not pick it up. Weird Sims. Anyways, uh, as soon as you come up the stairs, you have a staircase landing area, I mean, and there is a bathroom just above the other bathroom. This is used by the two rooms over here. And then there is a little hallway um, that leads to the two uh, bedrooms. And I've used a window, two windows in here, so that who is upstairs can peek in the living area downstairs since it is a double height uh, room and um, it looks really modern like this and I've used those beautiful gorgeous light from the glam event and the bedroom here is used by um, Lou and Jade this is their bedroom um, and I've used the deep red color for them and the next bedroom is the future baby's bedroom and they're having a baby girl so uh, i've used this set for the baby girl and it's in pink so yeah that's what we have in the second floor second level here 
and I just love how the layout for this house turned out and as you can see in the bump out I did not put anything it just for um, look purpose you know so that the exterior looks a little fancier so yeah and here is the second house here um, this is the entryway here and um, first before entering I wanted to show you how it looks the pump out looks and I put the cabinets underneath so yeah uh, so as soon as you enter again it's the living and dining area and this house is used uh, is owned by Rebecca here who is reading and her kids she is a single mom and she got divorced recently and she's taking care of her kids so yeah I've used this um, bookshelf uh, to divide the room and it's looked really well and a screen behind it so it's looked really well I like how it looks and then the first bedroom downstairs is uh, Rebecca's room um, she is sleeping alone here so she just pushed the bed all the way next to the wall and she has a TV in her room and everything she needs and then through the archway like the other one there is a staircase way and there is the kitchen Galista kitchen and in this one I've used the garage countertops and cabinets uh, this set uh, was available in the online store and I've set it up exactly like the other one and it's functional as well and then uh, we have the bathroom on the other side and I've used the chalet bathroom in this one and so yeah that's was that's uh, what it is in the first level and it's exactly the layout is exactly the same as the other one and when we go up the stairs there are two other bedrooms and a bathroom um, the first bedroom is um, it's also high high rise ceiling high ceiling and I've used the holiday high-rise event chandelier in the living area and then the first bedroom here is owned by Roy the older brother here um, he is a preteen he's probably like 12 years old he has his desk drawer and bed everything he needs across that room is um, the other bathroom the upstairs bathroom that is right above the downstairs one and the other room is owned by Riley here, who is the other preteen. She's probably 10 or something like that. And she's lucky because she has the balcony for herself. And so, yeah, these two houses are exactly the same. The layout are exactly the same. And at the end of the road here, we have... Um, a little sitting area like a garden area here this is where the all the neighbors can hang out and talk to each other you know and just chilling you know chill out here all right the, the these two houses are exactly the same as well as I said they are smaller than the other two and this first one is owned by Kareem and Kiara that are talking outside. Um, so as soon as you enter, you enter the living and dining area. And I've used mostly uh, very chic items in here. The same light from the glam event, the table from the glam event. Um, I love those lights. They're just gorgeous. And then the sofas from the chic boutique event chic living chic boutique event i think luxury event oh i don't remember them anymore oh i'm sorry okay um so through the <clears throat> archway is the kitchen area and this set was available in the online store as well and they have everything they need in here very small but functional and they even have a half bath in the corner here with just a sink and a toilet and I've merged 
a mirror above the sink. And so, yeah, that's what we have on the first floor. Very tiny, but still functional and chic. And up the stairs on the second floor, we have the bedroom. The only bedroom. Uh, I like the color combination in this one. Um, it's really cold in here, so my voice is getting uh, deeper and deeper. I'm so sorry about that. Anyways, uh, I've used this flowery wallpaper as a feature wall, and it's just very gorgeous looking in here. And they have their TV as well. And through this door here is um, the ensuite bathroom. And I've used a mix and match here. I've used um, the Glam Event Sink and the Holiday High Rise Event Shower and these old, old cabinets as a um, closet. And I even uh, merged a washer there. Uh, as a washer dry combo and for this one is exactly the same as the other one and uh, this one is owned by um, a single uh, bachelor single guy here and this one you can tell that it's just put together quickly you know he's single he doesn't really care as long as he has a nice house and um, nice furnitures but um, I came up with this a glitch or merge or whatever you call it and it's pretty cool so what I did is I've merged the computer table here with the um, tables that we got from the Cafe Grande event and um, it's it's blending together very well I think and you can seat four people and make them it make each of them do different things and it looks so cool like the two uh, the men's are just working and the commuters and the ladies are having uh, coffee and chatting and they're all chatting together and all i just love that anyways so through the archway there um there is the kitchen area um this set also was available in the online store and it's uh, fully functional. It has stove, sink, a fridge, microwave, and a bathroom in the corner there. Exactly the same as the other house. And up the stairs is um, the bedroom, the only bedroom, which is lofted. So um, Mike can see whoever is coming in his house. And he has this um, lounge chair as a bed here and i love these lights as well and then his ensuite bathroom is in here but in white exactly set as the other one and so yeah that was all for the tour of this house these houses i mean and you guys i don't know if you can tell from the way how i'm talking i had so much fun putting this together <laughs> anyways um i wanted to show you something um i like the fact that i used all the different screens in here to use it as a beam uh as if it supported um the balcony above and i've merged two together so that um it looks neater and i just love how they look and this one i've used the one that has some pot in them and this one was from the pool event, I think, and it just looks so awesome. <laughs> so yeah, uh, it was very fun to put all of these together. And um, I don't know, uh, let me know which one did you like the most, the bigger one or the smaller one. Uh, I am now sharing with you the great numbers in case you want to recreate uh, these uh, rooms uh, these houses and this neighborhood and if you do recreate this and put on facebook make sure to tag me on so i can see what you've done with it um so yeah that's pretty much it uh for the tour of these houses uh i am showing you in a moment uh, how it looks in night mode 
so um, I've not I did not put any fireplaces or um, the conditioners or anything on purpose in these houses because uh, in my mind these houses are new development um, everything is hidden you know properly done from the beginning so you don't see anything um, they're meant to be for um, uh, I wouldn't say wealthy but uh, quite professionals uh, but who uh, would like to leave uh, little small tiny so these are the kind of house they would live in so yeah and here it is in night mode I just love how it looks in night mode as well and um, I know what you'll say these lights were not there in the first tour I just had to add them on because um, they look so pretty uh, they just look like a um, like a street light and I've merged them into the haze so uh, they look neater and yeah so yeah that was all for the tour of this chic neighborhood I hope you enjoyed the tour uh, I will see you next time with another house tour video. Till then, take care. Happy simming.